Hi, I'm Jessica Rosenworcel, the Acting Chairwoman of the Federal Communications Commission, and I'm here to join all of you in celebrating Digital Inclusion Week. We're rallying together this week because internet access has become so essential for modern American life. And the pandemic has made it crystal clear that broadband is no longer nice to have, it's need to have for work, for healthcare, for education, for staying connected with family and friends, and so much more. Unfortunately, millions of Americans still find themselves on the wrong side of the digital divide. And if you just look at children, there are estimates that suggest that as many as 17 million students lack the internet access they need to participate in virtual school and do their nightly homework. The good news is that our government has made historic investments this year to help all of us get connected and stay connected during the pandemic. In May, the FCC launched the $3.2 billion Emergency Broadband Benefit Program, the largest program ever to help Americans afford broadband service. In just five months, we have already enrolled over 5.5 million households who are receiving up to $50 or as much as $75 off their monthly internet bill. Separately, we have created the Emergency Connectivity Fund, the largest effort in our nation's history to make sure that all students have access to the broadband and devices they need outside of school. And during this program's first application window, we received requests for over $5 billion to fund 9.1 million connected devices and 5.4 million broadband connections. The overwhelming response to these programs demonstrates one thing. There is real demand for help with broadband affordability. It also proves that trusted voices are the lifeblood of successful enrollment campaigns. More than 30,000 individuals and organizations signed up to volunteer as outreach partners to make all of this progress possible. And that's why initiatives like Digital Inclusion Week and groups like the National Digital Inclusion Alliance are so important. Working together, we can address these inequities and create new pathways to digital empowerment. This matters because if we want our connections to reach all of us, they should include all of us. Thanks again, and have a great week.